Welcome back to the next part of CyberScript uh, script making or explanations, rather, I should say. Uh, if you're following along, you will know that um, in the dialogue video, we showcased a dialogue sequence I made and how it works. And now we and we got a mission off of that. So now you can see that the mission kind of doesn't show up on the UI after you track it and or pause the game but we are tracking it and i'll show you in the journal too that we have it going on so we're gonna go there now and if you're trying to just t teleport to it it's going to be a custom map pin essentially just kidding it's not it's going to be a selected one oops and you'll see how this mission plays out pretty easily So he's here, however, it is not 11 because I set it to where I'm telling you, you have to be here by 11 PM. So if we do this, and obviously this is just testing purposes. So all of, if anything weird happens, I'm just brute forcing all these actions to happen. So he's going to start, let's see here, there's a certain part he's supposed to start walking unless I'm being foolish and I set it up to where it's not actually the time and it's something else let me see wait for trigger let's see what and this is you know all the time this happens you know something doesn't happen you gotta figure out like why isn't it happening uh, so you know it's always like little problems that occur. Um, but if you're certain that you your trigger is being met, you can always just test true. Okay, so that that turned true. So if you have the first mission, if you have the mission started initially where you can track the map pin and all that, uh, the the map pin and everything isn't made until you set it up in the trigger actions the trigger actions is what happens is when you accept the mission so like when you activate it here it would see as you see that see now it's doing the actual mission because i'm actually doing it correctly and he's gonna see and then i'm gonna go over here and there should be a little dialogue that pops up but there's not and that's okay. Oh, I know why. Because I never set it up because I was just testing it the whole time. So there's supposed to be a dialogue that shows up here. And I'll show you where that starts to happen. But once the trigger actions are met, and I would do this as a very, um, just a good practice to get used to trigger actions and getting to the, making the objectives activate. Make a wait for trigger and make the trigger entity at position. You can just type in like position or entity in the filter and you'll find uh, entity at position. And then you can just fill it out. You would put player, it's asking the player to be at a specific map pin in 40 range. And it was set to true, I tested it, and it's true. So after that's done, the objectives will now start. And so we're gonna edit this. Now all objectives will have triggers, of course, because we wanna make sure everything works correctly. So we have position, which is the uh, uh, player's position, and then the time we set, which is 11 p.m. And then the trigger requirements, you would have to just put time and position. So then, once those are met, the objective can actually be active. Um, and then we're going to wait for a trigger here just to, you know, for testing purposes, we want to make sure oh, sorry, that everything was made properly. So I'm near the target, which is good. And then since I'm near the target within 15 meters, it, as you saw, he started to move, teleport, then he sat down and started to look at me. That is the first objective. And now the second objective is to eliminate the target. However, there needs to be a trigger met before that. And it's a value check. Here, it's checking for if I've pressed a button, actually. 
and what that button where that button is i'll show you right now it's going to be in my little interacts i can find it uh -huh. so, so this will apply this position has to be met too has to be met at the anim pin however the anim pin didn't set so that's interesting that's something i have to just go back and figure out on my own not in this video because i want to embarrass myself here actually i didn't even set the requirement itself so what's going to happen is i'm going to test this and it's going to sit me down and it will continue the mission why did it continue the mission because I made the interact set the variable here in which this objective needed that variable to be met. So now the objective is continuing. So if we'll look, the trigger actions, I got a phone notification and I got a subtitle. So now the third diet and third objective has started because we are now done with the second objectives action list it will automatically start the next objective once that trigger for that objective is fulfilled and for this it's just the if the entity is dead okay so the objective will not complete until this guy is dead so for this testing purposes, I don't have much set up in this specific spot just for testing because I wanted to make sure it all worked cut and dry to be completed. I'm going to go over here. Uh, pay no attention to this because you will have a very much better time playing this mission. I'm going to stop the animation. We're just going to rock away. I'm going to show you something cool here. Besides I'm gonna watch this. I'm just gonna see. I got a message. Trauma team might be coming down. They should be coming down. Sometimes they don't like to come down. Well, I'm gonna see why. I think I know why. Let me see. So if your things aren't correctly working, always check the these things here. Always check your consoles to see if there's like any like errors that are happening. I can see there is an error happening just with the trauma team AV coming down. Mm, no, that's, that's okay. Um, one thing we're gonna see just to make sure, make sure I'm not being silly. Uh, we're gonna mission again. All right. At least it was nothing. I'm gonna make check. So, I killed the guy. And objective three is complete. Now it says leave the area. That's happening with after I put end actions. End actions happen after all the objectives have been done. You cannot get to the end action list until all your objectives are done. Now you don't need to necessarily set anything for the end actions, but if you've noticed like when you do missions or scanners after all that's done and you're out of combat you get money or you get a text message that's what end actions really are so that's what we're calling here and for some reason it didn't want to do it here and you know that's that's totally okay it's not a big deal i kind of know why but let's see here i'm just gonna check these real quick and this is by and large, most of the shit you're going to be doing once you start, you know, trying to test it all at once. And let's see here. I'm going to test this action list out just to see if it happens. Uh, it probably won't because it just doesn't want to. I know why. Because... There, a pin did not spawn for the interaction. That's exactly why what happened. So, something something would happen here. I'll tell you that right now. Something would happen here if the pin was active over there, but it didn't. So I would leave the area. Blah blah blah. Let's pause the game so there's no sound like really about, um, overshadowing me. Um, it would set. It would do all of these variables. And 
This is like the stuff you don't have to worry about. And then if you're trying to use, okay, actually I'll explain that, that next part, how to connect everything much better in a different video, because that's a lot to explain. Um, so with that whole action, that end action list done, the mission is completely done. And so what you could do now, you can get a little silly with it. Say that for instance, for this particular event, since I've completed this mission, right? We're going to try and find it. I set a variable for Mad World key ambush to be set to true. Why did I make this? Because after this mission, there's going to be an event that starts. And that event, if I can find it, this event is a world event. And I'll get into this in another video. Actually, I can cover it right here. Events. For this, world event only happens when this, a specific trigger is met. The world event will happen once, once the trigger is met. It can happen in a loop if it really. Um, so this event is waiting for the specific key ambush in the variable mad world to equal true. And as you saw, we set it up in the mission via this variable. So now that's set. Now this event is starting to play. But what's this event doing? It's waiting for me to be at a certain spot. Okay? So now, we're going to go to the certain spot. Because I know where it is. And you guys will know too. We're going to go back to our apartment. And just to be sure, uh, you can always check your scripts in the tools, script execution engine viewer. You can always check it around here. And we're going to look for the MW ambush. It didn't happen because the, there was an error with the end action and the trauma team didn't spawn. They didn't come down and save the victim. So the mission didn't give me the variable set because that happens after trauma team happens to come down. So. What can we do about that? Just for like testing purposes, right? So we have the mad world variable. We're going to type in ambush key. And as you can see, it's off. We're going to click it on. And as you can see, the ambush event has now showed up and is now waiting for a trigger. However, if we turned it off, cleared it, it will not show up. However, if we turn it back on, it will show back up. That's what world event means. Now, for your world event to not loop a whole entire action list, as you can see, I set up a... Oh, I had it open already. I set up a wait for trigger right here because I need to be in the spot right here so it doesn't all happen. So, once you walk into your room and you go towards your bed because I'm going to tell you to sleep through a voice, this will happen. Get away from me. Boom, bada, boom. And that's how a mission is correctly done um, in a very much more simple yet grander way. And it's also to show you, you can also connect other things to the mission. Um, to give a brief TLDR, how a mission works just to be sure in case you have you didn't want to watch the whole entire mission playthrough that's okay uh so what we did is we went over the triggers that need to be met which is a variable check that was fulfilled or made through a dialogue choice so the player can't just start this mission right off the bat and not know what the hell is going on first and then once you accept the quest but we forced the quest since we forced the quest, the trigger actions are forced. So that's how we were able to select a map pin marker without actually 
uh, clicking on the quest first. And then, so once we have all these trigger actions fulfilled, I set up a, a fail, a foolproof thing, wait for trigger to be in the radius of the map pin itself. And once we got into that map pin radius, the first objective can start because we set a position trigger, but also a time trigger. And he started to walk. The NPC started to walk once we had the time trigger fulfilled. So then it's going to be waiting for another trigger in the first objective just to be sure you are at the NPC's vicinity. It's a, it's a, it's a foolproof thing. Always foolproof your missions because you never know if someone's trying to break your missions, trying to break the game. Just to see like if there's any like little hiccups or oversights you might have done. So the NPC moved. It teleported. It did its little uh, animation. It looked at me. That completed the first objective. Then the next objective only was able to be fulfilled through a value that is set through a interact script or an event script. I can't remember which one I put, but I will fix it for the end result. But yeah, so the interact script that should have popped up was setting our variable here in order for the next objective to be able to be done. And then we obviously have our requirement value check, value check. So then now, and then I got a phone notification, I got a subtitle. Then the third objective can be activated, but we have to kill the assassination target. So then the third objective will be done after you kill the target. And now, since the third objective is done, the end actions you make, if you want, can happen. And then I sneakily set a variable for a sneaky little world event to happen so you can get ambushed and teleported to these guys. Yeah. But anyways, that's how missions are Goodbye. done. Um, I hope that was informative. I can always answer more questions on Discord. But next video, we will talk about... Uh, we'll figure it out from there. Bye.